This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at recycling plastics. Recycling plastics is an energy intensive process. Plastics require more processing to be recycled than other materials. This is for two reasons. The first is that the collection of used plastics is time consuming and expensive. The second is that the sorting of mixed plastics is difficult and can result in contamination. Different plastics can be identified by resin identification codes. A table of resin identification codes can be found in the data booklet. For example, here we can see the resin identification code for high density polyethene. And here we have the resin identification code for polyvinyl chloride or PVC. Infrared spectroscopy can be used to identify plastics based on the bonds present in the polymer chain. Table 26 in the data booklet contains infrared data. This includes the type of bond and the range of the infrared absorption. Next we look at an infrared spectrum and use the data in table 26 to identify the bonds present. On the right we can see an absorption band with a wave number of between 600 and 800 centimeters to the negative one. This is due to the presence of a carbon to chlorine bond. We also have an absorption band with a wave number of approximately 3000 centimeters to the negative one. This is due to the presence of a carbon to hydrogen bond. So in this infrared spectrum we've identified a carbon to hydrogen bond and a carbon to chlorine bond. By using the resin identification codes, we can deduce that this infrared spectrum is for polyvinyl chloride. Once again, this is due to the presence of a carbon to chlorine bond and a carbon to hydrogen bond. Here we have the repeating unit for polyvinyl chloride. As you can see, it contains a carbon to hydrogen bond and a carbon to chlorine bond. 